Week after week, Bernie Sanders continues to propose new, sweeping, bold proposals that would fundamentally change the country for the better. And he's proposing so many policies that I can't keep up with them. So we know that last week he proposed a plan to publicly finance elections and get corporate money out of politics. But prior to that, he promised to pursue criminal charges against fossil fuel CEOs that knowingly destroyed the planet. And this week, he proposed the plan to remake corporate America and essentially introduce democracy into the workplace, which would change the lives of millions upon millions of American workers. So what he's proposing is called the Corporate Accountability Act. And first and foremost, this would undo Donald Trump's corporate tax cuts, which would raise the corporate tax rate back to 35%. And just by doing this, he's going to raise three trillion in revenue over the next 10 years, and he's going to put two trillion of that towards the Green New Deal. And on top of that, he has a plan that would mandate fair contracts between employers and employees, which means a ban on mandatory arbitration clauses and non-compete clauses. He'd crack down on corporate consolidation and review all of the mergers that took place during Donald Trump's tenure as president. He would reinvigorate the FTC. Additionally, he'd use antitrust laws to break up monopolies. He'd ban stock buybacks. He'd require corporations that outsource or automate away jobs to convey shares to the employees they lay off, uh, give workers the right to buy companies when they go up for sale and offer them assistance to do so with the establishment of a U.S. employee ownership bank. And on top of that, this plan will share corporate wealth with workers, meaning corporations with at least 100 million in annual revenue, corporations with at least 100 million in balance sheet total, and all publicly traded companies will be required to provide at least 2% of stock to their workers every year until the company is at least 20% owned by employees. This will be done through the issuing of new shares and the establishment of democratic employee ownership funds. Also, democratized corporate boards will be a goal. Under this plan, 45% of the board of directors in any large corporation with at least $100 million in annual revenue, corporations with at least $100 million in balance sheet total, and all publicly traded companies will be directly elected by the firm's workers, similar to what happens under employee co-determination in Germany, which long has had one of the most productive and successful economies in the world. Additionally, he would require federal stakeholder charters for large companies. Under this plan, the same types of corporations, those with more than $100 million in annual revenue, with uh, $100 million in balance sheet total, and all publicly traded companies must obtain a federal charter from a newly established Bureau of Corporate Governance at the Department of Commerce. This new federal charter will require corporate boards to consider the interests of all of the stakeholders in a company, including workers, customers, shareholders, and the communities in which the corporation operates. So understand why the this is important and what it's trying to accomplish. Currently, there is an imbalance of power. If you work for a large multinational corporation, the decisions that your bosses are going to make, they're not going to consider whether or not they affect you positively or negatively. Their behavior is driven by the desire to maximize wealth, to increase profits, to increase shareholder value. But what Bernie Sanders is doing is he's trying to tip the balance of power more in favor of workers. So that way, you know, a large multinational corporation doesn't just automate away their jobs, send jobs overseas. What's going to happen is there's less incentive for that now, and Bernie is trying to really actively disincentivize this type of behavior. So overall, Bernie Sanders, he just keeps proposing policy after policy after policy. But if he's going to continue coming up with new policy proposals, I want to make some suggestions because there are things that Bernie Sanders can do that would uh, be fantastic, that I think would help him in this primary. First of all, um, commit to not using unmanned drones for warfare because these drone wars are illegal. They kill civilians. They're just bad. Second of all, um, if he were to decriminalize and preferably legalize sex work, I don't think he realizes how transformative this would be for thousands of people. I think this would win him praise from a lot of people, and he's open to this idea, so it's not necessarily off the table. So there are things that Bernie Sanders can still propose that I think will boost him, but the fact that he is just constantly coming up with new policies every single week, this is really important. This is how you run a campaign. You have to be dynamic, you have to keep coming up with new ideas, and you have to show voters that you aren't just thinking about, you know, this 
10 or so policies that you've been talking about. You're constantly trying to move um, the goal further towards people, right? You're not just saying, I want to do Medicare for all, Green New Deal, and that's that. You're saying, I'm always thinking of new ways to improve the lives of Americans. And that's what's really important. I think he's demonstrating that.